Well, new at six, she's a daycare owner accused of allegedly turning a blind eye to a child who abused other children. New developments in her case today, and for the very latest, we go to Michelle Fiore. She is live in Cedarburg. Michelle. Well, Carol and Charles, this used to be the Family Tree Learning Center. Six months after an alleged sexual assault occurred, well, it's got a fresh coat of paint now, as you can see. The toys that used to be over there are gone now, and so is the fence. But tonight, we're still waiting to learn the fate of the woman who owned the daycare. Trista Zier was scheduled to enter a plea and be sentenced in Ozaki County Court today. Instead, the defense requested a last-minute change. Subject to your approval. We would like to set this matter for a jury trial. That's because John Shiro thinks they can win the case. Well, I don't think the, I don't think my client's guilty of anything, and I don't think she's guilty of the crime she was charged with, and I don't think the state can prove that. Court documents claim Zier knew a 12-year-old was molesting a 4-year-old at the center and did nothing to stop it. The case drew attention not only because of the abuse, but also because of the family. Zier is the mother of Cody Reitz, the 14-year-old boy who was killed by his stepfather in the parking lot of a Walmart in 2009. It's a combination that has been overwhelming for the family. It's a nightmare. It is. The jury trial for Trista Zier is set for December 11th. We're live in Cedarburg tonight. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Michelle, thank you very much.